So he, he has not looked at delaying any, any uh, election. President Donald Trump's advisors on Sunday sought to shut down his suggestion last week that the 2020 election be delayed, saying it will be held on November 3rd. White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows tried to say that Trump was only raising concerns about mail-in ballots when he floated the idea of delaying the vote. Did the president ask you or anybody in the administration to look into the idea of delaying the election day? Listen, all of this that we're talking about comes down to one thing, universal mail-in ballots. That is not a good idea for the country. But, we, we don't have to look any further than New but, York to see what a debacle that mail-in ballots have been when we have weeks and weeks of delay of who the, the, uh, the winner is. Can you imagine if that is with the president of the United States? Presidential campaign advisor Jason Miller also said that the election would be held as scheduled saying on Fox News Sunday, quote, the election is going to be on November 3rd and President Trump wants the election to be on November 3rd. The idea of delaying the election was immediately rejected by both Democrats and Trump's fellow Republicans in Congress, the sole branch of government with the authority to make such a change. Trump has been trying to undermine confidence in mail-in voting, claiming repeatedly and without evidence that it would lead to widespread voter fraud. When asked on Sunday if it were irresponsible for Trump to float the idea, Meadows skirted the question and warned that mail-in ballots must be handled properly without providing evidence that they have not been in the past. We've got to make sure that we do this in a proper way. Earlier on Sunday, Trump called for a lawsuit to be filed against Nevada for moving toward expanding mail-in balloting, saying on Twitter, quote, this is outrageous must be met with immediate litigation.